Hey everyone, my name is Chloe. This is my first ever vlog based in Osaka, Japan. I'm just showing my outfit and we're getting ready to go outside in the rain. So this is the machine where you can load your eCoca card. I just changed to English and I hit charge. And this is my eCoca card, also known as IC. It's blue, it has a platypus, that's the mascot. And I only need a couple hundred yen to get to Umeda. I have 689, which is about like six bucks US dollars. So yeah, good to go. Uh, hit cancel, take it out, you just tap it in. That's how you get in and out of the station. going to Meta Station. So how many blocks is that? Or how many stops? Like five. Five stops. Ah, uh, four. <laughs> four. Hello. Hello. We are in an echo chamber. Hello. So usually in big cities, the stations can be kind of tricky to navigate. They're like a maze, but you pass a lot of cool things along the way. Like for example, we saw these flowers and they're just nice, you know? Now we're going to get ramen at Yodavashi Camera building. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I keep laughing at the end of every talking video. I guess I can't keep a straight face. Who knows? But yeah, so this is Yodabashi Camera Building. It has like a big camera shop on one of the floors. It's like a mall. It has food and clothing and electronics. And you know what? You name it, it's probably in there. And it's right outside Umeda Station. So you have to order from a screen. We're getting two of the vegan ramen. And then, should we get two? Getting two. Then we put our money in. So Chabutan Ramen is located on the seventh floor the Yodabashi camera building and it's pretty self-serve I mean as you saw you order on a screen by yourself they give you chopsticks and various toppings like this is fried onions and you can just kind of self-serve and put it on once they bring your ramen out most ramen places have this type of style and it's nice you know if you're shy and you don't really want to have too much interaction you don't have to bother the servers for stuff everything is just there for your own convenience my personal favorite topping sesame seeds The vegan ramen because it has these green noodles and a veggie broth. They usually use dashi fish broth, and then there's a lot of veggies. And we got fried garlic on the side, and we also got veggie gyoza with some gyoza sauce. And now you can just add the toppings as much as you want for free so like I'm adding sesame seeds and there's like a spicy chili spice and fried onions okay and to eat ramen you need chopsticks in one hand and a spoon in one Get some of the broth, some of the noodles. And you're encouraged to slurp. 
so don't be afraid to do so. So yeah, like I said, slurping in Japan is encouraged, so if food noises disturb you, Japan may be a tricky place. <laughs> But I just wanted to film Kai eating his ramen. He's Japanese and he eats it insanely fast when it's super, super hot. And I've seen this a lot in Japan. And to be honest, it's pretty impressive. Fun fact, people here would say you have nekojita, which is cat tongue, if you can't eat food like ramen super hot. Taking the final sip. One more. After you eat, you should say Gochiso sama deshita. Gochiso sama deshita. There's so many cat cafes in the area, but this is the closest one. Sixty minutes, only thirteen hundred yen, which is about twelve US dollars. And you get like a little snack and a drink for sixty minutes. take your shoes off before you enter because just for cleanliness and it's just a requirement. So at this cat cafe, they have a cat album and inside you can see the different profiles of each cat and they have their own personal pictures and information and it's super cute. Fortunately, they give you two of these cat treats. So if you're feeling shy or if the cats are shy, you can simply open these up and bribe them. And also a lot of the customers seem to be really good with the cats. If you're not too confident in your cat attracting ability, then yeah, you have the upper hand with these treats. But then you wonder, do the cats actually like me for who I am or just my treats?
Mexican restaurant, El Bancho. We got a guacamole quesadilla, no cheese, because I don't eat cheese. This is the vegetarian platter. It has a burrito with cheese, and but I'm not eating that. It has nachos and quesadilla, and like a wrap, and torta, and potatoes. Yeah, just a lot of veggie toppings, and it looks amazing. So it's kind of tricky to find Mexican food in Japan, especially if you're vegan or a vegetarian, so you got to check this place out. Finished. Finished.